Hello and welcome back to Konami's basement. It's good to welcome be here. Welcome back. We never left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We still haven't found the keys, but we found a stash of weak old energy bars. Those should last us for a couple weeks. Great. I'm glad you could join us. Uh, and it's too late to try to escape. The doors are locked behind you because this week it's Clown Week. Clown oh week. no. <laughs> oh no. It's Clown Week. I love Clown Week. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, so there's a good number of clown cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! And today we're going to be, uh, we're going to be looking at them. And whoever can take the least psychic damage wins. <laughs> so we're going to start with our, one of the first clowns in Yu-Gi-Oh! One of the archetypal clowns. What's funny uh, is that I had a clown in my head. Like the only clown that I can think of in Yu-Gi-Oh! And it wasn't this. Oh... <laughs> So I don't know who this is. Uh, did... Did Jin Yu-Gi-Oh's kid draw this? <laughs> no, Jin Yu-Gi-Oh just watched Hunter x Hunter the day ago and he's like, Oh, I have a sudden idea! <laughs> this week I'm not gonna do the naming quiz, instead I'm gonna have... I'm gonna see if you guys can make a clown tier list for me. So what, what tier would you give this clown? From S to D. Uh, I would have it in the upper category, like Beats, because he's kind of got a Dark Magician vibe to him. <laughs> the purple going on. What if it was purple? He's got all the, all the things I expect from a clown. He's got the red nose, he's got the face paint, he's got the pointy ears. He's got like, they, they <laughs> turn like half of his teeth pointy and the other half just like normal looking teeth. Yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? I guess yeah. these on purpose because they did the eyes too different. Yeah. yeah well, I guess Marcus to be closed, but his chin is weirdly sharp. Like his whole head shape looks like a character from Doug. You ever seen Doug? Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with C. The C, C for clown. Yeah. C for clown, sure. I, I say so... B for better clown. B for better clown. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this this one is actually personally uh, one of my this is my favorite clown in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh. Yeah, so just aesthetically okay. speaking, I really like this guy. He's got that very unified aesthetic. He looks like a he's got the nice chevalier hat, he's got the mask, he's got the Harlequin clothes, he's got a nice smile, he looks like a friendly man. And he has cotton candy pink hair. That's cute. This looks like, um, you ever see Hunchback in Notre Dame? Mm-hmm. When they have, like, the Festival of Fools, this guy would, like, this guy would fit right in. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I like this guy, too. Well, I'm gonna say yay. The very first thing I thought of when I saw this for some reason is this Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I see it. This is the first thing it. I thought of. So these two, I'm gonna name them together. First is called Saggy the Dark Clown, and the second one was called Petin the Dark Clown. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, these are the two dark clowns. We have the dark clown and the cooler dark clown. <laughs> but you ever see that meme where it's like, um... It's like this, the clown. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, what tier would you put this guy in? I'm not feeling him. I say C. Oh my god! Oh shit! Not feeling him. <laughs> not feeling Pet the Dark Clown. How about this? This guy? Uh, what? I guess that's a clown. It's kind <laughs> of looks like a guy with a green nose. Uh, <laughs> this one looks like it would wait outside a primary school and try to lure kids into his van. Beep no. beep! Here comes the free candy mobile. <laughs> It's yeah. Kind of the most random articles of clothing that just are kind of <laughs> colorful. Just put them on. Yeah, yeah. He's wearing a fucking yeah. curtain on his back, and he's like, "Yeah, this is a cape." 
He looks like uh, this kid that I knew in high school who would get stoned in the back of the school bus and think no one else could smell it. <laughs> I feel like there's no way he found a matching hat and matching sleeves. I feel like he made those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I feel kind of bad. Like, imagine this guy <laughs> staying up late in his, like, one-bedroom studio apartment with a sewing machine <laughs> trying his best. See, I would read the card text, but, uh, this guy doesn't have any flavor text. This guy had an effect. If this card is changed from attack position to defense position, select one monster your opponent controls and destroy it. Oh, it has to go from attack. Yeah, he puts it into the van! <laughs> <laughs> so what tier would you give this guy? I like you. Uh, well, you know, I'm I'm gonna go with C. You know, he he tried, he yeah, tried, it's but kind of an yeah, it's uh, you know, E for effort. Thanks, like C and the B. Next up, we have this guy's uh, this guy's breaking the mold a little bit, going for some avant-garde clowning. <laughs> Ooh, I recognize this guy. Uh, this is Mystic Clown. Also, what I was gonna say. I remember him. I like him. This one feels very nostalgic. <laughs> it looks so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It's giving me Cubist vibes. Like, Jim Yu-Gi-Oh! just started reading about Picasso's Cubist phase. And he yeah. was like, I, I, I feel inspired. Jim Yu-Gi-Oh! once had high artistic ambitions. <laughs> and he's a little resentful that this is what his life has become. So when fucking Ray Yu Gi Oh is like, hey, go design me a clown, he's like, oh, I'll design a fucking clown. <laughs> <laughs> also, is he naked? Oh my god, I think he's naked. That's not a bodysuit, his face is that color. Yeah. Oh, he's um... definitely naked. <laughs> and his legs are spread, he is presenting. <laughs> Here's a bussy. <laughs> <laughs> and where are his hands down there in that position? To catch the drips. <laughs> <laughs> I found it so weird that like the thighs part of his legs have no <laughs> eyes at all. They just look freshly shaved. <laughs> well, you think he has to shave the eyes off? Just shave his eyes. <laughs> 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 And like, what is going on with the, the with the two, I don't know, circles on each side of his head? I imagine they're whispering things into his ear. Like one's telling him, like, don't don't forget, don't forget to bury the bodies. Don't forget, bury the bodies. Don't forget. And the other one's like, you should really turn yourself in at this point. <laughs> I'll forget to shave next week. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just- his pose looks like my deep my sleep paralysis demon perched on the foot of my bed. It's like, his torso almost looks like it's another person. Also, he's got like sleeves on just his shoulders, but not on his torso, so I'm assuming he's wearing a really high-cut crop top. <laughs> so all in all, I'm thinking S-tier clown. I gotta say, at least A for nostalgia. I completely I forgot about this thing. <laughs> I'm to yeah, so I'm gonna say A for uh what? <laughs> <laughs> See next clown. Oh, we got a scary one. Oof. Wait, why is he holding? That is knives, what? right? Why is he holding the knives like backwards? <laughs> he's gonna stab himself. And why are they green? And where are all the faces on him? Are, are these faces from other clowns that he killed? He had to defeat and... them to become- Oh fuck, he ate them. <laughs> <laughs> he ate them to and absorb it's... their power. And it looks like he's hulking out because the his shirt is ripped and now his pants are going to rip. Oh wow, I ripped my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> the real final form of Majin Buu Dragon Ball Z didn't want to show. <laughs> <laughs> See, I imagine this guy, like, you're on a road trip and he's sitting in the back of the car and you pass a McDonald's and he starts, like, pounding and see, going, McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> 
also with the combined with like the effect in the background it's like it's like he's falling from the sky like directly onto you gently floating downward it's like a sagging macy's day balloon this one reminds me of pokemon again but remember how like in the show they would have like this happened to Pikachu's face. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> Imagine if that was the Joker's origin story, like someone just pinched his cheeks too hard. <laughs> you see, I was a very horrible baby. <laughs> Yeah, wasn't that like the next Batman movie? The Joker is just an ordinary clown who does ordinary clown shit, like make balloon animals, but Batman just <laughs> beats the <laughs> shit out of him anyway. I'm telling you, you guys are wrong guy. I'm just a <laughs> So, uh, what tier would you give this guy? Uh, I'm gonna go with B, you know. He's clown enough. <laughs> He's interesting. Say so C, just... Just interesting. It reminds me how I think this might be the clown that Matt was thinking of when I said iconic Yu-Gi-Oh clowns. Yep, Crass clown. Yo, oh, he got him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one it looks like he needs to go to the hospital. What are these green things on top of the other round green thing? Like you got, you gotta get that checked out, dude. Come on. He looks like a coronavirus grew arms. <laughs> I was thinking. Of <laughs> well, hey, hey, I'm the new variant. <laughs> More like oh my clown variant. Bazinga. <laughs> yeah, and like look at his tiny little legs. <laughs> Fucking. Dr. Robotnik looking ass. <laughs> I like his face though, it looks genuinely evil. Yeah, this guy yeah, actually looks right. really like effective as a creepy clown. He's not too overstated. I yeah, no, this is this is S tier. Yeah, this is an S tier creepy clown. I... Yeah, I fucking hate him, but you know <laughs> S tier. I hate him for all <laughs> the right reasons though. <laughs> oh god, look at him in the anime, he's even grosser. <laughs> are the are the are the green things on top of the green thing all the monsters is killed? I think those are like pom poms. <laughs> or he's a wandering cauliflower salesman. So he's topless. <laughs> and these are green panties, I guess. But like <laughs> you go way up. He's wearing green granny panties. <laughs> In the world of clowns, he is their Superman. There's Injustice Earth, and Earth 2, and Earth X, and then Clown World. <laughs> oh my god, don't give them any ideas. <laughs> well, everyone is the Joker. <laughs> Do we live in a society, though? Yeah, yeah. Clown society. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't look at him anymore. <laughs> Next, please. Oh, maybe not. Um, <laughs> what? What is he drooling? Oh, he's drooling. Ew. See, he's also subscribed to Trihorn Dragon's OnlyFans page. Oh, I've always wanted to see the D in action. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, you know, I mean... Uh, uh, points for the for the coordinating his outfit. Um, so you know he's got he's got a big hat, which I assume is for his big brain. This is the only clown who can watch Rick and Morty. <laughs> also, this is so far the only clown who's brought his own clowning accessory. He brought a ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the other guy had a. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is it supposed to be a baton? Oh yeah, he's got a baton. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> Just a curtain. I mean, fucking play the sheepy it was wrong <laughs> noise. <laughs> it does look like a curtain rod, honestly. Yeah, kind of does. <laughs> this is from Dream Clown's curtain. Oh, maybe. Like, oh, maybe he just wants the curtain back. 
<laughs> so he's like chasing after Dream Clown, like you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking running yeah. after his van, like. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna say B for this guy. All right, Matt, what do you think? C. C. I, I don't know if he's supposed to be creepy or silly or what. Yeah, he's kind of hasn't really decided on an image. I have two more clowns left. Mm. So this mm -hmm. is masked clown. Right. I like how his face looks too. He has no body, though. He just... He's another sperm-looking guy. This just looks like a spider leg. <laughs> <laughs> this sort of looks like a little like they were trying too hard to go for Scary Clown. It's like... Like, Jim, you know, thought of uh, of a good face and the hat. Like, the hat is good. But then, like, gave up for the rest. <laughs> like, drew the hands put the scars in there, and then he was like, I, I'm too tired. Fuck it, he doesn't get a body, okay? I'm wondering, like, how does he move? Does he slither like a snake? Does he use his arms to let you crawl? He's gotta put down his weapons to crawl towards you and then pick them back up to attack you. <laughs> <laughs> See, if I was getting chased through the woods by this guy, I'd just feel bad for him. I'm like, you need, uh, you need some help? You want, you want to get him a wheelchair or something? <laughs> I'm thinking, like, D tier. Yeah, yeah, definitely D tier. Yeah, I Come don't on. know what's going on with this buddy. Alright, and for our last clown... He got an upgrade! Now he's just part of a tree! <laughs> <laughs> I like this one better. I do! <laughs> Although, something about the way he's holding that scythe in his face... It looks like he's saying, hey kid, you circumcised? Would you like to be? <laughs> and, and and the horrified faces in, in the tree trunk. <laughs> what is going on there? <laughs> uh, never mind, I don't want to know. This guy looks kind of like a Legend of Zelda enemy. Like he'd be one of those things that pops out of the wall to like attack you. I wonder if he can pop out of the tree, or if he's just permanently stuck like that. <laughs> How many step clown? I'm stuck. <laughs> Why are they both carrying uh, scythes? Like, um... yeah, because if this guy's stuck to a tree, that means someone had to come and hand it to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. He is the first person. It's just the first person moved so slow, eventually a tree just grew around him because he couldn't move fast enough to outrun it. I'm tree. Thank you. This guy's got the drip. It's... I, I, this guy is C tier because, like, he's fucking stuck to a tree. What is he gonna <laughs> do? Like, oh, I'll, I'll take two steps back. Okay, can you attack me now? I, I didn't think so. See, now this is just a sneak peek of the upcoming gritty remake of The Lorax, starring Jared Leto instead of Danny DeVito. <laughs> I am the Lorax, I speak for the trees, and I tell you that we live in a society. Open your mind! I'm gonna say D. <laughs> But S, if anybody goes near that specific side of that tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's all the clowns. We survived Clown Week. We survived <laughs> Clown Week. I'm nervous about Shark Week still. So, all in all, what's your favorite clown? That's gotta be the tree guy. He just seems so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna, I wanna know his backstory. How he got like that? What if he drops his scythe? Is he just screwed forever? Until someone comes by and picks it up for him? <laughs> can you imagine walking to the woods and you hear a voice saying like, "Hey, hey, could you, could you hand me that? Could you give me that?" And you're like, "No, I'm not giving it to you. You're gonna cut me." And he just pauses like, "No, I won't." <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say uh, my favorite is Peyton. Yeah, he's my favorite too, just because of it's very elegant and clean. What about me? Oh, you go fuck yourself in your fat fucking ass. So, uh, with that being said, I think that does it for this week's episode of Locked in Konami's Dungeon. Uh, anything y'all want to say before we close out? 
I'm sad there's not more clowns. They need to make more clowns. Yeah, fucking more clowns. <laughs> more clowns when? Bring back the clown better. So from all of us here locked in Konami's basement, I wish you a, a good night, and please comment any cards that you want us to look at. We'll probably try to get to them. Until then, please for God's sake send us food. I am so hungry. Don't don't let the the wood clown cut you down. Don't let the wood clown <laughs> cut you down. <laughs>